So if, if the problem is that, oh, people aren't going to be able to upload things that Republicans are saying, maybe Republicans should stop saying it, right? Is that not the solution to the problem? Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Leftist Extremism. The media this week is very upset that you don't like the high gas prices and high inflation under Joe Biden. People are not just accepting Biden's really good economic messaging. But we being the media are somewhat responsible for that, right? Gas prices is the perfect example. Mm. When gas prices are up like they were last year, every news organization and every reporter was standing in front of a gas station talking about it. When mortgage rates were really low, prices were super high because you could get a really cheap mortgage. And so we instill this fear and unhappiness in, in people. And one of the reasons prices have been so high is because people are willing to pay those high prices. Yeah, it's your all. Just don't pay for food and gas if you don't like it. Things will be better when you're walking everywhere and you're starving to death, just like they were in Russia under Stalin. And don't you dare say that you'd like to see inflation be rolled back. Or you said they should do something about inflation? Yeah, bend it back. Bend the curve back on, on inflation. Reduce, it has reduce been. inflation. It has been. Maybe it's, that's it's, one of the reasons. Hold on, please. Where, where Hold on, please. Where folks, maybe, would, where, where folks would like it, right? No, fine. It, it might not be where folks would like it, but we want to operate in truths here. Oh, uh, like the truth that inflation was a lot lower under the last Republican president? That's a truth that can't be uttered on MSNBC. Despite facts and your wallet and the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you only think that inflation was lower before Biden? Well, because, uh, Trump said it. You know, and Steve, let me interrupt you here too, because it was always, it was always so interesting that Donald Trump ran around every day talking about the greatest economy ever. I've got the greatest economy ever. I've got the greatest economy ever. And actually people, not just on Fox News, people on this network would begin their questions by going, well, of course, Donald Trump has the best economy in history or whatever. It's like that, that got into the bloodstream of of not just people around trump but you know journalists who who he said it so much they started believing it so according to scarborough economic prosperity under trump that the polls show the majority of people agree was real actually wasn't real it's just an illusion because people believe whatever trump said he said it so much so i guess that means people don't believe what biden is saying i mean they are just not buying his messaging. But I don't know if the messaging is getting through because I don't know that people feel it. You know, eggs still cost $8 a carton. Box of cereal is $10. Your credit card bills are going up every month by hundreds of dollars because the Fed keeps raising interest rates. And all of MSNBC's panels can't figure this all out, even when the facts are in front of them. The media cannot make the connection between the bad economy and Joe Biden. Nabhan is among a group of young job seekers increasingly sharing stories about landing jobs only to have those job offers rescinded. Rescinded offer comments have risen 50% from last year on Fishbowl, a networking platform operated by job site Glassdoor. Companies like Meta and Amazon have acknowledged pulling job offers as they also lay workers off. The NBC piece won't even mention Joe Biden. Don't you say such a thing, otherwise you may need to be censored. So if, if the problem is that oh, people aren't going to be able to upload things that Republicans are saying. Maybe Republicans should stop saying it, right? Is that not the solution to the problem? Yeah, Kirsten Powers, CNN senior political analyst, has discovered the solution to big tech censorship. Just don't let Republicans say things on social media. Then the problem's solved, and the, the left doesn't have to keep so busy eliminating the truth like Hunter Biden's laptop during the last presidential election. So if, if the problem is that oh, people aren't going to be able to upload things that Republicans are saying. Maybe Republicans should stop saying it. I'm just going to freeze a totally sane moment right there. Uh, free speech is now as dead to the media as parental rights are. The media are so happy this week that the leftist group that inspires violent shootings, the Southern Poverty Law Center, well, they deem parental groups that speak at school board meetings as extremists. I want to read from the report about schools and, and kids. Um, this is in the report. Reactionary anti-student inclusion groups such as Moms for Liberty, Moms for America, Parents Defending Education that the Southern Poverty Law Center lists as extremist groups are by their very nature responding to social progress that they dislike and have no control over. Yeah, why should parents want to say in their children's lives? I mean, that, that does seem extremist, doesn't it? 
Parents seeking to review and have an influence on their children's education? Why, to the media, that is as evil as the group that Democrats once proudly joined themselves, the KKK. I hearken back to decades ago when the FBI and the DOJ really aggressively targeted and, and successfully went after criminally the KKK. Wow, they really don't like it if you don't want boys participating in girls' sports. Look out. I mean, apparently the greatest threat to, to women in America are that there are some trans kids who might want to play sports in school. And it's offensive and it's wrong. Transgenders taking away all of America's daughters' trophies, awards, scholarships, and leaving real girls as bench warmers. Well, that is not a real threat to the media. The real threat is not being able to kill babies on demand. The women's issue of our time. That's what I have written is, down here. Is, is the that, women's issue of our time. Yeah, the not access to abortion care. There you go. I mean, <laughs> if you were going to say make a list of the issues affecting the rights of women in America, you might start with the, the denial of basic reproductive freedom. I think you have the freedom to reproduce. That's not against the law. It's the killing of innocent people that's generally frowned upon from a legal standpoint. But the left has so much respect for the Constitution. That's why they all nod their heads in agreement and give airtime to insane activists who want to completely ban guns. At the end of the day, is it unconstitutional? Yes, but so was slavery. We abolished slavery. Of course, there was no mention of the fact that America's first gun control laws were meant to take the right to bear arms away from newly freed slaves. But, you know, sure, morally equate gun rights and slavery in your insane agenda. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We got some breaking news from CNN this week. A conservative governor likes a conservative SCOTUS justice. Three years ago at Disney World, at an event for the Florida chapter of the conservative group, the Federalist Society, Governor DeSantis had this to say about Justice Thomas. This is a justice that has the courage of his convictions, and he's willing to apply the Constitution, you know, regardless of any criticism uh, that he may face, because I do think he is our greatest living justice. Thank you. Quite a statement after that speech uh, that DeSantis gave, Justice Thomas and Leonard Leo, all three of them went to dinner. Whoa, three conservatives went to dinner? Oh my goodness, when was this? So three years ago at an event for the Florida chapter of the Federalist Society, DeSantis said this about Justice Thomas. Three years ago at a conservative Federalist Society event, a Republican governor praised a conservative justice and then they had dinner? Call on the producers, we need guests on this. And after that speech, DeSantis, Thomas and Leo all went out to dinner. CNN senior Supreme Court analyst Joan Biskupic, Joan Biskupic has much more on this. I'm sorry, Joan. What do you what do you see no in this, Kate. Joan? Yeah, uh, morning, Kate. Didn't you like that big bear hug at the end there? No, not a bear hug. <laughs> Clearly, a dinner three years ago qualifies as new CNN reporting. Can't get enough of it. Plaster it. Wall to wall coverage. Now, one thing the media has been going wall to wall with that is actually new. Well, no, it's not the House investigation and covering FBI documents alleging Joe Biden was part of a multi-million dollar bribery scheme. That certainly wouldn't make headlines. It's the politically motivated Trump indictment on Thursday evening. It gets all the coverage on Friday morning. Don't you believe in the principle that no person is above the law? If the president committed the same crime that someone else did, shouldn't he be charged? No person is below the law. That's really the issue here. I mean, you've got these investigations in Delaware that are a thousand times more serious by a sitting president who has authorized his DOJ to try to sink the candidacy of his prime opposition while that guy has unsecured documents that he stole out of a skiff dozens of years ago. So, look, you know, we're not talking what about some talking sort of about, favoritism. What are you talking about? What a journalist. Are you really surprised that George Stephanopoulos claims he doesn't know about those Biden docs? He acts like he's unaware. If, if the problem is that, oh, people aren't going to be able to upload things that Republicans are saying, maybe Republicans should stop saying it, right? Is that not the solution to the problem? Yeah, we're the problem. I'm Eric Scheider for MRC TV, asking you to head over to the MRC homepage, click on the donation button to support videos like this one, visit MRCTV.org for the latest in videos, entertainment, and information. Please like, share, and subscribe to these videos on the platforms that don't deem us to be a problem that needs to be censored. Rumble has all our videos. We'll be back next week with another look at leftist media madness.